Hello, um, I'm going to go through how to set up the Akai MPK Mini Plus to work with Ableton Live. So, first step is I'm going to go to the um, to the Akai website. I'm going to go to Akai Downloads. This is the downloads page. There's MPK Mini Plus. This is the section for the MPK Mini Plus. If you haven't already, you can uh, upgrade your device to the latest firmware and mine's got the latest firmware and uh, another thing to download is the editor and um, I've got that already so I'm not going to put you through that but what I am going to download is this remote script and this is what helps us to tie everything together so I really need that so um, I've downloaded that and I'm just going to go look for it and get that onto my desktop yeah so if I crack that open that gives us a configuration file and um, where do I put that so um, that can do, that's going to go into our use remote scripts folder and I'll show you how to find that and um, this is so uh, this is my home folder and um, if I go into the library subfolder of the home folder I'm going to go into preferences Ableton, this is the version of Ableton I'm using. This is the user remote scripts folder. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call that MPK mini plus, and I'm just going to put CS for uh, control service. Now I'm going to move our configuration file into that folder. So there it is. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you shut down Ableton because you've got to register the uh, the actual remote script by starting up Ableton. So I'm just going to start up Ableton now. And that will register the remote script. I'm just going to open up this um, template I've got here. And this template's got it's got some um, it's got some drums, and it's got a um, it's got like a, a pad sound here. So if I um, if I hit one of the drum pads, not getting anything happening right now. So uh, that's because we haven't set up our uh, remote script yes yet. So um, so this is how we do it. We're going to go into the preferences settings. And in settings, yeah, you can see that uh, there's a default uh, control surface set up, but it's obviously not doing exactly what we want it to do. And um, so we need to change that because I would expect that, um, so here are the, the macro knobs. If that default control script was uh, working, then um, if I turn the first encoder, We'd expect that first data go round, etc., with the other ones. So it's not working. So that's why we use the one that we just downloaded from the Akai website. And um, so I'm just going to look for it in this first column here, Control Surface. And let's have a look. There it is in the list. MPK Mini Plus CS. And it's, it's worth bearing in mind that whatever you call that folder that's what it, it will um, appear as. So if you give it a name that stands out, you'll be able to find it. And uh, that the input set to uh, port one, the output set to port one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna um, set track and remote. I'm gonna click those on. And then also in the output ports, um, I'm gonna um, click track and remote. The output ports so um, so let's let's try that out let's now try the uh, the drum pad so um, I'm just gonna have to activate these two so I can see that the drum pads are um, they're working um, but the problem is that when I hit the drum pads it's also triggering the this um, pad patch and that's because I've got the, the MIDI here set to all channels if I set that channel one 
and I've got this set to channel 10. So that's, um, so when I hit the pad, I get drums. When I hit key, I get, I get keys, no drums. So I've got those two separated. So that's one thing achieved. And um, the other thing that uh, we get set up with a control script is the transport controls. Please excuse this horrible bit of music, but um, let's, let's just um, press the play button on the MPK to see what happens. If I press stop again, that will take us back to the um, beginning of the clip. So, so yep, that's working. So let's go back to our uh, encoder. So I'm turning the con uh, the encoder. You can just see that um, I'm turning it now. The yellow uh, light is blinking on the MIDI controls. So it's definitely working, but it's not doing anything with the macro. So we've got a bit more work to do. So let's go back to the desktop and I'm going to open up the uh, the MPK editor. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the, the program that's been made for Ableton. And that's actually program two in the, uh, the get program list. If I open that up and uh, this is this is our program here. You can tell it tells us here that the the pads are set to ten. You can change that to another um, MIDI channel if you want. And uh, it's all the the problem is it's all with these CC notes. And uh, if we go into our uh, configuration file, if I open that up, I'm going to look for encoder in this list. And um, right here, these this is the list of all the encoders, and we've only got um, the eight encoders on our device because you can map up to sixteen, depending on your device. But we've only got eight, so um, you can see here that the CC values are mapped to a different set of numbers, and we've got to get these to uh, correspond because, like right now, the first one's mapped to one, then two, three, four, whereas here it's mapped to seventy, seventy-one, all the way up to seventy-seven. So we've got to change these values. So we've got 70, 71, that's 72. That's not the right number. 72, nope. <laughs> Let's try that again. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, I always have problems with 76, it always comes out backwards, and 77. Nope, not a smiley, but 77. <laughs> no time for emojis. And um, so there we've got, we've got the CCs mapped. And to get that, to, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to set that up as a uh, a variation of our um, template. I'm going to call it Ableton Live Plus, and I am going to send that program to the RAM of our unit. And if I look on the screen of the uh, unit, it will now have a little plus symbol uh, just in the, uh, the the screen, and that tells me that I've loaded up these values. So, um, so that's great. So if uh, I can shut that down now, I'm going to go back to um, Ableton, and if I um, hold down, this is the um, the pad. Now um, that second encoder, the second macro. So that's working. Yep. So I'm I'm now moving the encoder because you can see the um, the yellow what's it is flashing, and that's controlling the encoder. So that's what we want essentially. So um, I've got the transport controls, and um, I've got the uh, MIDI controls, the encoders.
so that's how to set up the uh, the MPK uh, Mini Plus uh, in Ableton using the re remote scripts from the Arcade website. And I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, subscribe, and you'll you can uh, get some more content from me. So thank you very much, and I might see you next time.